November is right around the corner and when it comes, it's not comes with just Thanksgiving, but Election Day. On this coming ballot, you'll find a new proposition that could change the very way you vote and not everybody is on board with it. Our Timber Schumann explains what it is and the reasonings of both sides and the opinion of a state senator who's already gone through this before. It's still going to be somewhat similar to how things are currently done. Colorado is home to roughly four and a half million registered voters who come together to pick positions like governor, Congress, attorney general, secretary of state, and more. But a new system will be proposed on the upcoming November ballot. Proposition 131 aims to establish a ranked choice voting system. Everybody, the entire electorate is choosing who we're going to be choosing from for the general election. Former mayor Anna Stout tells me in this proposed system, a primary ballot with all candidates of all parties would go out earlier in the election year for people to vote on. Then the top four candidates from the primary vote are put onto the general election ballot. From there, a new style of ballot will be given to voters, which allows them to choose not just their first pick, but also their second, third, and fourth. Controversy surrounds ranked choice voting for many different reasons. One is the learning curve on how to fill a new ballot out. Representative Lauren Bobert says it confuses voters, delays election results, and unfairly overburdens election workers. So what I have here is a rough demo version of what a ranked choice ballot would look like. You'll see it's a sort of grid system here. So you have candidates on this side and your choice on this side, and then you just fill in the blanks. So for this one, candidate B would be the third choice. Candidate C would be the first, and candidate D would be the second. The Green Party of Colorado, in our internal elections, we use ranked choice voting. It is easy. However, you do have to learn. Co-chair for Green Party of Colorado Patrick Dillon tells me he is in favor of ranked choice voting, but the two ballot process where only the top four candidates make it onto the general ballot is worse to him than the system we have currently. My vote doesn't immediately become irrelevant uh, because my candidate got kicked out. House District 54 State Representative Matt Soper is in favor of Prop 131 since he says more voters' voices will be heard. Uh, under current law, it's possible you could win with less than 50 percent. Under ranked choice, it's impossible to win with less than 50%. The only time you go to a second or a third choice is when no one gets more than 50%. What this means to me and why I'm such a proponent of ranked choice voting is that it starts to bring us back to the middle. It starts to moderate us again. You know, there's a couple other states that have done this, Maine and Alaska. It was a delightful culture shock. Alaska State Senator Kathy Giesel tells me her state adopted ranked voting in 2020 and implemented it in their 2022 election, not just for state, but national and presidential positions. I didn't expect, I guess, how welcoming Alaskans were to these concepts. Alaska uses the same system pitched in Prop 131, and Giesel says there wasn't near as much confusion as what some, like Boebert, seem to think. We did exit polling in 2022. About 86% said it was simple to use. 99% of the ballots in 2022 were completed correctly. Yes, I would recommend it. So just because a ranked choice voting passes does not mean it immediately goes into effect. In fact, if it does pass, it'll go into effect at a state and federal level even later than what was initially predicted ever since Senate Bill 210 added a clause stating multiple municipalities and counties of specified sizes must test the ranked voting method first. Dylan says no matter your view, it's important to pitch in. Your voice matters. Do not sit on the couch. Go out there and vote. Timber Schumann, Carrie X. Meanwhile, Prop